hi my beautiful people you're welcome back to my channel this is your guest ce concept you're welcome again i want to say a massive thank you to all my viewers all over the world and my subscribers i say you are welcome so today quick one we are going to make a a camisole with a basic body without a doubt i believe you are going to enjoy it you just stay back and watch okay the basic measurement i'll be working with on this tutorial is my shoulder my bust my waist my hip and the length of the blouse so the first thing we are going to do as you can see here i folded my fabric into four this is the front and this is the back so i'm going to cut both together because I'm not going to need a zip on this uh, camisole. As you can see, it's a sequence with an uh, elastic effect. So it's when you pull it, it, um, it, it expands. So I don't need a zip. So without much ado, let's input our measurements. My shoulder measurement is 16 divided by 2. That will, that will give us 8. But remember this is a camisole i don't want the shoulder too wide so i'm going to take away one inch from the shoulder line which will make it a uh, message seven and a half so i will put seven and a half here as you can see this is it please don't mind the chalk because it's not visible enough on the fabric okay so from this side from the shoulder line which is seven and a half i'll come down by one and one inch to slant it so i will put my neckline width which is a four and a half as you can see four and a half then i will join it to this line i will connect it here like so okay then what we are going to do next now is to impute the vertical measurement that is from the shoulder line so my bust point here is 10 is 10 then i'll be adding half an inch to it half an inch that half an inch is when you want to uh, uh, when you want to join the shoulder together it will only affect the half an inch you added to it so the bust line measurement will remain okay always do that okay so i have 10 and a half here my waist my waist so, uh, my waistline is 17 and a half including the half an inch this is the line and this is one for the bust line as you can see then the my hip now my hip is i will count from the waistline i will count nine okay you can't if you are it depends on how how tall you are if you are tall that if you are medium you can have seven you can count from seven from your waist you count down seven but my i'll be easy i'll be counting nine okay so i will put it here Seven and a half, twenty seven and a half. So after that, I will now I will now input the arm hole depth. How do you get your arm hole depth if you don't if you find it difficult to get the round arm hole? What you do is that you take your bust measurement, you divide it by six, and you add one and a half to it. Mine is nine and a half this is it here nine and a half then from there i will mark out the initially it was eight and a half i will mark out eight and a half here to join it that will be our chest line believe you can see eight and a half then 
it's only half. Don't be confused. This is the seven and a half, and this is the eight and a half for the real shoulder line because that's necessary. Otherwise, it will affect the, the, uh, the chest line. So this is eight and a half for the normal chest line. This is the seven and a half, the one I deducted from the eight and a half. Okay, this is it. So what I'm going to do now, from this line, from this uh, eight and a half, I will come in, I will divide it by, by two. So this is it. Then you come in by half here. Okay. Then I will join in with this one. I came down with this one here, like so. Then I will stop there. I will input my bust measurement, bust circumference. My bust circumference is 12 plus half for his. That will be that makes it 12 and a half. So if I have, then my waist circumference is 11, 11, 11 plus 1 for his, that makes it 12 here. Then he is 13 plus 1, plus 1 for each, plus 1 for his, that makes it 14. Like so. I believe you can see it. Sorry. It's the fabric. Then I will connect the, the point together like so. Like so. So I'll connect this armhole to the front armhole. Then from here is the back. Let me pull it down so that you can see. This is the back and this is the front. And this is the slanting part. I've added half an inch to it. So My neck depth now will be four and a half because it's a camisole. I don't want it to reveal the upper parts much. So I'm going to come down by four and a half. Remember the width was four and a half as well. So I'll connect both together like so. You can see it very well. like this then how do you cover your neck depth from this angle you can come in by half an inch if you like but it's not necessary then you connect the one and a half from this angle you come in by one and a half like so like this then you connect this point and this point to this point. We are done. That's it. Now we are going to add our allowance. I won't be adding much allowance to it. That is the seam line. I only had one inch or two. One inch. One. Then here, one inch, then I'll connect it together, like so, you can see it. Then this end, if you want to make the, the, bottom, the bottom part of the blouse curvy, you can go up by one and a half from the down part, like so. Then you connect it to the middle, like so. 
in this middle like so let's in this case i will not be needing that because just a cami so you cover it like this in this middle like so it's mine i will leave it this way i'm not gonna cut the bottom part so the next thing now is to cut like this remember i'm cutting the back and front together because i'm not gonna hide the i won't be hiding zip to it See from this part. We cut from the seven and a half, not from the eight. The hair is just to guide us to in order to put our arm hole, the chest line. So the next thing now is to input the I will cut the bias binding to tighten up the neck. Cut it out the front and the back together. So the next thing is I want to cut the bias for the neckline and for the ham hole. I will do that and I will show you. Yeah, as you can see, this is the neckline for both and the back. The bias binding, I mean, to tighten up the neckline. This is how it's going to look. So this is for the ham hole. Then let me show you how... We are going to couple it. This is the blouse. So this is the neckline. I believe you can see it very well. So right side facing each other like so. I'll do it like this. Like this. Then like this. Then I will sew half an inch round, round, okay? The same thing for the back as well. And this for the arm hole too. Then, don't forget to like this video. Like it, share, comment, subscribe. So this for the arm hole like so the right side facing each other then take half an inch just a quarter a quarter then when that is done you turn it inside then you fold half an inch in we are done then after that you now take the back and front like this right side facing each other like so then you join half an inch here half an inch here then remember we left one inch for the seam line for the size seam so i'll fold it just here make sure they are both aligned together then i will take one one inch from here down the other side then down I will hem it like so half an inch then half an inch again we are done let me do that and show you yeah as you can see we are done with the sewing this is it it's looking beautiful then don't forget if you are using another fabric that does not a uh, stretch you might have a zip okay 
but mine this fabric stretch so look at the hand also i had the allowance open hand to eat the side slit on both sides so that's it then i'm giving it a good press don't forget like i said don't forget to share this video like it comment okay and i believe you have gained one or more things on this video and i hope this video has been helpful is don't forget to share see you on my next video